Hello, there are times in life when our problems are not solved. The story behind is that Mr. Humphrey Mwetwa lived for 19 years with an undiagonized illness. Sometimes we are victims. Where doctors maybe reach an extent of saying the problem we can't find, maybe it's psychological, maybe it's in your head. Sometimes it's not always like that. So this patient moved from frustration to a peace of mind and a musician. He's here on the codophone to bless you and share his story. His name is Humphrey Mwetwa. Humphrey Mwetwa lived for 19 years without being told what was causing the problem. He was grounded. He stopped school. He found consolation in music. And so, welcome, dear viewer, Mr. Humphrey Mwetwa. He is my guest today on the Codophone. How are you, sir? Fine, thanks. How are you, Elder? Who is Humphrey Mwetwa? Um, Humphrey Mwetwa is coming to you from uh, Kitwe. And this Humphrey Mwetwa is uh, someone who is married with four children. Thank you so much. Humphrey Mwetwa is coming all the way from Kitwe. Like we promised you that we'd like to revive the spirit of old time religion. Kitwe is represented. What about your province? What about your town? On the code of phones, we are looking for more people to come and bless the viewers. We continue with the interview. How is Kitwe? Kitwe is fine. People are interested to hear your story of how you spent 19 years without going to school, without studying, without doing a lot of physical work because you were sick. But worst of all, doctors did not know what you were sick of. Sure. It's a miracle. For sure. As we go further into the interview, allow me to do a warm up with him. One of his best songs that reminds him of the old ordeal is How Great Thou Art. And so, Mr. Mwetwa. Yes, my leader. Play to my ears that song, then I'll make some follow up of what it reminds you of. Thank you.
excellent. I come to you, Mr. Moetua, when you are singing or playing this song, what comes into your mind? I'm looking forward to the day, especially like the, the last stanza which I've just sung, when Christ shall come and take me home. I can't, I can't just wait for that blessed day. I passed through a number of challenges to the extent where I thought maybe my life was coming to an end. But lo and behold, I'm still alive and uh, why should I not praise the Lord? I like that. Why should I not praise the Lord? I'd like to hear more of your story. Yes. Everything was all okay until when you were nine years. What happened? I just started feeling unwell. It was uh, something like malaria. Um, in the past, the month of February, most of the people used to suffer from malaria. Those days? Yes, those days. So once someone is given medication, it was just once for all throughout that year. But now, with me, in my grade three, it kept on striking up to 11, 11 times within that same year. Getting sick? Yes. 11 times in a year, that has 12 months. Yes. So almost, on average, every one month, one week, or one month, two, three days, you were down. Yeah, for sure. And then I was on uh, chloroquine, and uh, those of us who... <laughs> Did you remember? Yes. Uh, it Funny was, sound in your ears? Yes. It was terrible for me. <laughs> but uh, what exactly were you feeling? It's easy to say malaria. By the way, malaria is just mean, it means bad, bad air. Mm. But for you, what, what exactly were you feeling like? Fever. Mm -hmm. High fever. Yes, high fever and headache. So I would be in bed. Maybe for three, four days in a week. Would like to fast forward. Yes. From grade three. Yes. And then you continued getting sick for the whole year. Yes. What happened to your education? Um, I used to go to school a few days as compared to the time I was supposed to be in school. So. Mostly, I was home, down. And my mother was a, a nurse by then, before she retired. Mm -hmm. So she did not prefer to treat me from home. So I would always be taken to the clinic so that other people would assist her. Assist her. Yes. No self-prescription. No. Always would go for the best. Yes, mm -hmm. sure. But uh, the problem continued just like that, grade four, five, seven, until when I reached grade eight, the second term, I could not bear it anymore. I just went back to stay home. So from missing classes to finally stopping yes. classes. Sure. And you were just seated at home. I was just seated at home. Just seated at home. For how long? Um, it took me 19 years. 19 solid years. We school. are getting back to you. Yes. You are watching the codophones. You have heard a mystery solved. Diagnosis of a patient makes him move his frustration into a peace of mind. And finally, a guitarist. He's here on the codophone. His name is Amphrey Mwetwa. We continue after one song. Your next song is Ndila Puchilila. Yes. Ndila Puchilila. Yes. I will follow thee, my Lord. Yes. Play it to my ears as we continue to get more and more of your story. Look. 
time when I was sick, some people actually suggested that uh, maybe I consult the mediums. They did not believe that it was just uh, a natural illness, but it was coming from some people somewhere. But I said no. As long as I live, and as long as my Lord lives, if it means dying, let me just die a righteous person. I will follow my Lord. The third stanza, the last one says, mm -hmm. whether in sickness or death, Father, I will follow thee. Thank you so much. Some people encouraged me, consult the witch doctor, consult the mediums, but I said, no, I will follow thee, Lord. So much to to learn from Mr. Humphrey Mpundu, uh, from Mr. Humphrey Mwetwa. But I'll be summarizing the message so that we can get also more of the songs. And so Mr. Mwetwa struggled for 19 years. He had stopped school. Then what happened at the end of the 19 years? Oh, before I come back, yes. I, before I push you to 19 years, mm -hmm. what happened during this period? in terms of the family, the friends, the community, over your illness. Comments, negative, positive, <laughs> share with us. I received quite a number of uh, negative comments. From where? From um, 
some family members. Start with the family and share with us, but make sure they should not beat you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'm just pulling your legs. But still, share with us. It is there for other people to learn. Yes. Sometimes families, mm, we also push people down at times. Not always, but tell us. Of course, I did not have a problem with my... my but I mean, I want to hear comments from... Yes. Um, some family members, families, whether extended or whatever, mm -hmm. but family. Yes. So you see, when um, when I was passing through this challenge of illness, I was at a certain day school where I was doing my grade eight, and uh, we used to to cook for ourselves, and uh, some family members actually would support me uh, to give me food, and. Um, Unfortunately, some started commenting and said, no, uh, this one actually is just finishing our money. We pay for his school. Sorry, but he will not yeah. go and attend the class. Yes. We will pay for his school fees, yeah. but he, it's just a matter of time he will be sick, he will be down, and he's it's just wasting the money. Mm. Sure. And to me, that was a very big bro. And then I, I remember praying to the Lord and even complaining, actually. But why, Lord, do you allow me to pass through all this? Why don't I just go and rest? I'd almost given up in life. I'd almost given up in life. We still want to hear, what about friends? Any negative words that you received? Some friends would friends say, or community. Yeah, they would say maybe what I was doing, I was just doing it deliberately. It was not true that I was sick. You are faking your illness. Hey, in short, we are saying he lived like he was in Sodom. And his next song is Sodom and Gomorrah. Sure. Played to my ears, we would like to hear more. But we have a short interlude. Give us Sodom and Gomorrah.
I was waiting for that, <laughs> but when we entered the second one, then the message came. Okay. Sodoma, yes. Sodoma. That's Sodoma na Gomorrah baka kaka leza. Tell us the message. Um, this song, I like it also. It reminds me about the people of Sodom and Gomorrah how they lived and rejected the message which was given to them. But now the Lord is calling us so that we can accept him as our personal savior, so that we don't experience what our friends experienced. Yeah. Thank you so much. In case you've just joined us, this is the code of one that you're watching featuring Mr. Humphrey Mwetwa. The story behind is that Mr. Humphrey Mwetwa lived for 19 years with an undiagonized illness. Sometimes we are victims. We are doctors maybe reach an extent of saying the problem we can't find. Maybe it's psychological. Maybe it's in your head. Sometimes it's not always like that. So this patient moved from frustration to a peace of mind and a musician. He's here on the codophone to bless you and share his story. After 19 years, uh, how, what happened then? If I can calculate from 1979, we are talking about 1998, 1999, somewhere there, without going to school. How did you manage to um, it so happened that one day I was on my way going to Rusangu because um, by then I had joined literature evangelism. So on my way, I passed through Rusangu Secondary School. Just after the gate, I picked a, a piece of paper. I was so quick to go through it was a past paper. So you never forgot how to read? No. Since you stopped in grade 8, so you still... Sure, you sure. You were able to, yes? Yes. Uh -huh. So I went through the questions, and I said, ah, I'm able to understand these questions. If only I can have material to go through, I can answer this. <laughs> and then from there, I just said, let me go and register for GCE. General Certificate of Education. And he said, I, I think he, since I'm able to read now and I'm old, I will go and attempt GCE. And so, so I did that. Registered three subjects. subjects. Mm -hmm. I was able to clear two. Wow. Then I said, was great. if I'm able to clear, why can't I register again? I like your sincerity. There are times when we should also appreciate even when we have not made it 100%. Of the three, I managed to clear two. I think it was a great achievement for a person who, has been, who had been sick for 19 years. I may add, maybe bedridden. Mm. And then, where would those two take you? You still had the courage again to attempt for more? Yes. I said, let me go and register for four. So The next semester? Or yes. the following year? Yes. <laughs> so I did that. Mm. And out of the four? I cleared them all. Hey. I cleared them. Amen. After clearing, then I said, now, since I have uh, five credits which are needed for someone to enter, to enter college, college or university, 
Then I said, no, let me try Rosango University. Hold on. <laughs> Let me try Losango University. At this point, we go for a song. More coming after the song, Nde Fuluka. Yes. Nde Fuluka. What does it remind you? Nde <laughs> Fuluka. Just play it to my ears. One of my favorite songs. One of your favorites. Yeah, I just like it. I know Bemba, <laughs> but Nde Fuluka would be... What would be the correct translation in English? Um, though I'm not Bemba, but I think you can do it better <laughs> yourself. Be. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be I remember, or mm. I long, yes. or I desire. Mm. Mm. You know be better, I'm Mambo, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nef Ruga, play it to my ears. Kuli, 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 
an explanation we know where we ended we have five you have now five uh, subjects but I want to divert you a bit we are coming back to that okay you are much better I know that and this is why you have traveled all the way from Kitwe to come and feature on the code of phones but it has the problem completely finished the problem that you used to have, the illness? It hasn't finished. Completely, but you are much better. I'm much better. And so my next question is, how do you counter it? What helps you on a weekly basis, or on a daily basis, or every two or three days? Um. Mostly, I'm on painkillers on weekly basis. You are on painkillers weekly basis, and that's my point. Now, when a song plays like in Defuluka for a person who is on painkillers every three days, having stayed 19 years with an undiagnosed illness, what does it mean to you when, when you are singing this song? You are on painkillers three times, I mean, every three days or, or, or weekly, and then you are singing What comes into your mind? What picture? My leader, uh, I'm looking forward to the day when the Lord is going to come, when all these problems are going to end. No more sicknesses, no more pain. What a blessed day it shall be. So I'm longing for that day. You are when I'll longing be for that healed. day. Healed. Amen. So this is why you're saying Defuluka sure. is my favorite song. Sure. Share more with us why you like it or the message that you like even more. You know, you, you, you see, explain. The second stanza hmm. talks about the blind are going to see. The lame are going, going to walk. walk. Uh -huh. What more? What more are we looking for? Tell me, do you also include yourself on the yes. list? Yes. But even me, I do include myself on the list. If you never feel safe, come on. He says, I love this song because of the message. His situation has normalized, but still, he's on painkillers on a weekly basis. And so he says, I look forward to that time <laughs> when all our ailments shall be uh, finished, when the Lord himself shall come and redeem us. Your next song, we are coming back to those five subjects that you have acquired, but your next song is Johnny Ndakutuma. Allow me to say, Humphrey Mwetwa, I've sent you. Mm. But now you sing it in the in the third person, Johnny Ndabutuma. Sure. Play it to my ears. Johnny Wagatola, Johnny Wagatola, Olumbe Wabu. 
much at this point allow us to go for orchestration time we break off progression of the chords. So <clears throat> I will start to what I call F finger formation. Now as you know F is this and it's part of the uh, primary chords in the key of C. This is C. So C goes like this. That's, that's what it is. Thank you so much for those rudiments. Elder Mabuti still going strong. Hey, can I also say retired but not tired? We are so grateful for participating or teaching us on orchestration time. We continue with our guest, Mr. Humphrey Mwetwa. I had taken you away from what you were explaining. Share with us now about now your five subjects. You managed to clear two out of three and then attempted four and you cleared all of them and now you have five subjects. What next, Mr. Wendu? After that, I, I said, let me try Rusanga and visit. Um, it has been my wish all along, actually, to study up to the highest level. Yes. But because of the problem which I was going through, um, I was disadvantaged. But when I, I, when I applied, I was accepted to study. So I registered for Bachelor of Science in Geography. Geography, as your major. As my major. Mm. So I did that. It took me nine years. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me share with the dear viewer out there. I finally registered and I was accepted at Lusango University. I wanted to study geography as a major, or sciences, but with geography as a major. And then because of the problem I have, 
It took me nine years for a course that takes four years to complete. He's still on painkillers weekly. He had stayed for 19 years without studying. He was down. What an achievement. Hey, I like that. Congratulations. Amen. And then after studying that, how did your family react or friends or during okay, let me say during my study period, some colleagues, because by then I had uh, joined Rusang University as uh, the driver. Yes. Now dividing time for work and study, and study. was very, very difficult for me. I can imagine. And uh, some friends said I was just wasting my time because I was not going to graduate. I can't you still we've heard your story. Let me divert you to something on a light moment. Yes. You are so skilled in guitar such that when you look at a person playing, you are able to imitate. I'm diverting you from the interview. Please. I'd like you to play for me just a few seconds of a song and I'll leave it for viewers to identify that song. I just want you to play the instrumentals of, let me whisper to you, or maybe instrumentals of your choice. I would like viewers to imitate. In short, I'd like you to imitate Danny Magambo from Malawi. 30 seconds, then we come back to your problem. He's remaining with two songs before we wind up the program. Uh, we've heard much of his uh, story and we praise the Lord because he's still alive and working. No more interviews. At this point, we move fast forward. Tuli Munyiga. We are in this world. Tuli Munyiga. Give us your next song. Tuli Munyiga. Play it to my ears.
through on this planet earth and uh, the last stanza is talking about uh, looking forward to the day when these problems are going to end hence pleading with the Lord to give us strength to pull through thank you so much allow me to find out your closing words on the code of ones because we want to, to put in a song a lousy song Kio Jesu. Yes. You went over Pio. And uh, your final words afterwards. I may follow up with the question. What I can say is um, I would love to, to thank the Lord for this program which you people are doing here. It is helping quite a number of people. You see, the messages is they are being sung. They speak volumes to us some of us Amen. and I'm always encouraged whenever I listen to music because music speaks a lot to me and especially that even when we are going to be saved we are even going to sing and praise the Lord even using instruments to me it is something which is very very encouraging uh, every time I listen to this program, I'm drawn closer to the throne of mess. Thank you so much. One more question. There could be a viewer out there going through some challenges, reaching an extent of almost giving up. How can you encourage them from your experience? Um, the Lord is always there. We must trust Him all the time. Um, whatever problems we may go through, may we never be discouraged. We must always look to the Lord because He is the sustainer of our lives. He is our creator and He understands us better than the way we understand ourselves. So, since he is the creator, he will definitely help us to pull through. Never should we give up. Never should we give up. His earlier sentiments were that I'm encouraged when I'm listening to music. Allow me to say music does not need permission to reach your heart. Mm -hmm. It passes through the ears right up to the heart. At this point, Kio Jesu, what is the summary of the song? Because we have no time to talk about it. When it plays, the program will have ended. Kio Jesu. Kio Jesu is the Lord's song which um, invites us to look unto Jesus for our salvation. Kio Jesu, look up to Jesus Christ for your salvation. This is Jesus. Play it to my ears.
Jesus. 